dry socket versus normal healing. How to tell the difference? Is it hurting because you had a tooth pull or you're developing something more serious, like a dry socket? There is a difference, significant difference, and you can tell yourself if you need to see a doctor immediately and help with the condition of dry socket. I'm Dr. Olga Dolgier here at Fawn Valley Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. I'm a board certified pediatric dentist and laser dentist. So what is dry socket? When you have to spool, you have to form blood clot inside the bone where tooth was. If the blood clot dislodges and it leaves empty dry bone, you can develop dry socket. What can you do to prevent dry socket from happening? Number one, avoid smoking avoid vaping, avoid using straws, because if you sucking on something on a straw or any negative pressure in the mouth, you actually can suck out that dry, uh, the, the blood or blood clot from the socket and develop that condition. Avoid also forceful spitting out. Even though you feel like you can swallow, sometimes you numb, try to swallow. Swallowing your saliva is better than just like spitting forcefully out or let it just drool if you had wisdom teeth extraction, for example. Also, make sure you do not over irrigate your mouth. Some people use even uh, like water pigs or they rinse mouth forcefully. That can wash out the blood clot that can create dry socket as well. So what symptoms you would have if you have a dry socket versus normal healing? Dry socket does not happen right away. Usually you would start feeling discomfort and pain three or four days after extraction. Normal healing, you feel pain the day after extraction, maybe second day, but then you're getting better. With dry socket, you're actually getting worse. Number two, you also can feel that you have a different taste in your mouth because it becomes inflamed and you taste the almost like pussy bacteria in your mouth. Normal healing, taste should not change significantly. You may feel like taste of blood maybe, but not that unusual taste. Number three, smell. With dry socket, you're gonna have distinct smell on a distance. With a normal healing, there is some, obviously, odor from your mouth, but not significant. Type of pain. With normal extraction, you're gonna have just soreness, discomfort, usually ibuprofen Tylenol will take care of it. With dry socket, your pain gonna be severe. You're gonna have irritation in your ears. Some people complain that ear hurts or the jaw hurts. Sometimes you may experience even swelling. Something unusual should bring your attention. So what to do in this case? If you think that you have all the symptoms I just mentioned, look in the mirror, look inside, if you can locate where the tooth was, normal healing would look dark. Initially, it looks like a blood clot. Couple of days later, that blood clot is still covering the side and you're gonna see white or grayish changes. With dry socket, you don't see blood clot. You may even see bone. It's gonna look white, kind of white and whiteness is inside the socket. Those are differences how it looks like. But if you can't see it, just call your dentist, make sure the dentist sees you right away because you might need the special treatment for dry socket. So do all of those things to prevent dry socket from happening. Usually dry socket happens in adults. In children, we don't see dry socket very often. Maybe in older teens, but not in children because they have a lot of saliva flow, they have good blood circulation, but adults, unfortunately, especially smokers, they smoking disturb the blood circulation. So blood does not get to the side anymore. And as a result, you have all these problems. So the rules with the straw and smoking is 24 hours. Soft diet is about 24 hours as well. And pain medicine should be taken three, four days. And after that, you should get better. And if you're not, you might have a dry socket. So share with me, did you have a dry socket? 
what did you do? What did your dentist do? I can't wait to see your answers. I hope you already subscribed to my channel and more videos are following. Stay tuned. I can't wait to see you.